So far we've learned the line feature to create these triangles and also polygon polyline. I'm going to show you another technique for the uh, equilateral triangle I'm trying to build. So there is a feature here called polygon. A triangle has three points within a circle and you can do an inscribe or uh, unscribe I believe it's called uh, cir circumscribed or inscribed and I'm going to just pick whoops polygon and ask for how many sides so I typed in three and I hit enter to tell it I want three sides and what it's looking for is a center point and it would be a center of a circle so if I click here and then come out oh, I gotta choose inscribe or circumscribed I'll grab this one here and I'll just go up to the top here and if I I'll come up one more grid okay that's close enough and I click a position it creates that triangle all right you should be able to label that at this point again the feature I used was polygon and it gives you a description on how to do that so I used the one on the left where I grab the center point of the circle and then the top of the triangle and it creates three points that touches that circle now I want to try something here I'm going to go to layer I want to make these lines more pronounced and it looks like I've been using layer zero so if I click this line weight I should be able to click a larger line weight and say OK. And it will make the part thicker. Did you see it change thicker? Did it get brighter? Probably not because in my customizations, for some reason, thickness isn't the default. So I have to find thickness in this list. Oh, I, uh, actually, it's called line weight. Sorry. Every CAD system is exactly the same, only different. They have different names to do the same thing, but they all do the same thing. So uh, I think Katia's thickness, this is line weight. I'm going to click on line weight to show line weight thickness. And then uh, that's been checked on. Should show up down here somewhere. I can't remember where that shows up, but uh, I have to expand that to get that to show up. But it's on, and yet I don't see this thicker. So that should have done that. I'm going to click on this line. Actually, that should be that. That should be that layer. Let's just for kicks, I'll change this one here to 3 5, select OK. And I did turn my thickness on. So line weights turned on. I added thickness, yet it's not illuminating. I got to figure out what I did wrong there. Anyways, go ahead and label this if you haven't already done that. I guess I'll go ahead and do this. You can skip to the next video if you know how to do the labeling part. Call this isosceles. No, equilateral. I just grab that blue dot and move. Uh, I... See if I can grab this one of these blue dots and move them. Set that to a new location. And uh, just to match the book, I'm going to put the dimensions on, but we'll switch to annotation so I can use the angle feature. I'll turn this snap off to make it a little easier. Try and get the 60 on the inside. Oops. And 
and then one more angle on the top if all three angles are the same I know that the three lines are equal distance an equilateral triangle means that all three angles are 60 adding up to a total of 180 de 180 degrees Ugh. All right, that concludes the equilateral triangle. And I'm going to try and figure out why this thickness isn't working. <laughs>